Five times the number of pots added to four times the number of pans is at least 20. Pots is x. Five times the number of pots, 5x, added to four times the number of pans plus 4y is at least 20. That means greater than or equal to 20. I want to get the while alone, so I'm going to subtract uh, 5x from both sides, minus 5x, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 4, and that's going to give me 5 over 4. Then I go to my line tool, find the 5. Find the slope is negative 5 over 4, so I'm moving over 4 and down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a solid line because I have greater than or equal to. The equal to bar reminds me that it's a solid bar of a line. We are shading above, put my above arrow. Next one, the difference between 2 times the number of pans, that's 2 y. I'm just going to go into a different color here. Maybe red. 2y. Take away. That's difference. Pots. That's just x. Is not smaller than negative 4. That means greater than or equal to negative 4. Greater than or equal to negative 4. I want to get my while alone. I'm going to add x to both sides. x. Divide everything by 2. 1 half. x minus 4 divided by 2 is 2. Minus 2. The slope is 1 half. I'm going over 2 and up one, and sometimes like I'm clicking and it's not drawing the point. It thinks that it's too close to this line. I have to click way off and then drag that D point back. Over two, up one. It's a solid line and I'm shading above like that. The arrow's in the right place. The next one, the number of pots added to 12 times the number of pans is at most 60. Pots is x. x, the number of pots added to 12 times the number of pans, that's 12y, is at most 60. It's going to be less than or equal to 60. Then I want to get the while alone. y is less than or equal to, uh, that should be negative 112. Instead of positive 12, it's negative 12. And notice that crosses at a good point. Point. If I go back to here, I go back to my A point, I can just drag it to there. There it is. That's good. This is at 12.4, which is our maximum. And we are trying to maximize. You have to make sure that it's asking you to maximize or minimize. So they're asking us to maximize our sales, but sometimes it might ask us to minimize our costs. You have to make sure that it's asking you to maximize. It's asking us to maximize, and it turns out that that point is good, is 12.4. I'll just copy that. $767.40. 12.4 and that value. About the scanning line. For the scanning line, we have 5155x, 51.55 times our x value plus 3720.20 times the y value is equal to our sales. If I subtract the 5155 and then divide by 37.2, I'm going to get y is equal to negative 51.55 divided by 37.2 plus some b value that we don't care about. Divide that, 51.55 negative divided by 37.2 is negative 1.38, negative 1.38-ish. That's supposed to be an x here. x plus some b value that we really don't care about. y is equal to that. If I pick a b value like 12, and the slope is, this is gonna be hard to see, so I'm gonna maybe multiply this by 10, like the top and bottom by 10, so I'm saying that, that y is equal to negative 13.8 divided by 10, something like that. So just so that we can read it a little bit easier. I'm gonna move over 10 and then down 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Point 0.8, I'm gonna turn off the snapping tool, something like that. So that's gonna be what my scanning line looks like. Then I'm gonna just say, well, that's gotta be my maximum, and the C point has gotta be my minimum. The A point, the 12 and the four, as predicted, was the maximum. And if we drag this over, it's going through the C point, and we can see that the C point should be our, our minimum. If we go back to here, which was when X was zero, Y was five, and that is in fact our minimum. That's what the scanning line does for you. If you have access to a spreadsheet, it's really fast. That's our answer. And then if I press return, correct.